we don't have copious amounts of water. And ag is a big user of the water that humans have available in the state. And, you know, you can look at it as a blame game or you can look at it as an opportunity. Utah's biggest water users are making some big changes. Some farms and ranches are experimenting with new water saving technologies and it's already showing signs of progress. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has early signs the conservation effort is working. He reports from Tremonton. Agriculture is a big user of water, but the state is funding a lot of initiatives to encourage conservation and savings. We're taking a look at what it is. On this field, we grow barley, corn. These new automated watering systems have replaced what Richard Eichel used to do every night. I've been doing it for 60 years, and changing water takes a long time, most nights, so all night long. And these boys now, they just do it on their phone. The organic farm in Tremonton is using new technology designed to save water. They got a grant from Utah's Department of Agriculture and Food to buy the equipment. It cost about 300000 but it's already resulting in savings. I think it was worth it for us. Um, it saved in water, like I said, a third of it we were able to save. We were go, be able to go across the land quicker, um, and then it's a whole lot easier to change the water. Agriculture is a top user of water in the state. Farmers and ranchers have had their water shares cut in the ongoing drought. Some areas like the Weber Basin have experienced up to a 40% cut in their, their water uh, for irrigation this year. There are ways for agriculture to save water, but it costs money. Not all people realize that it does take water to grow food, and we all like to eat. The state legislature funded $70 million to push what's called agriculture optimization. It's new technology for water savings. The Utah Department of Agriculture and Food is offering a 50-50 matching grant for farmers to make the switch. We manage a very large system. It's about well, it's 68,000 acres, 126 miles of canal, and has a very large footprint. The Bear River Canal Company is using some money to do a number of things to save water. We made tremendous inroads on water conservation and water management, which is uh, a huge part of operating a canal system. They're lining some canals and covering others. But we're trying something unique. We're implementing something that's different than a lot of other systems in the West. They're replacing some of these old hand-cranked irrigation gates. Click that, and then you just input what you want. They are extremely accurate. And, and you can just do this with your phone? Yeah, so all this just happens right here. This is the exact same site. Of with automated ones that are a lot more accurate. This is some of the best tax dollars being spent in the state right now because what I'm able to accomplish with these grants is saving water, is making a difference not only for the farmers, but for the general citizens as well. The Utah Department of Agriculture and Food will be opening up another round of grants for farmers in the near future. In Tremont, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.